We want to welcome you here to Rwanda. We have our biggest African ecosystem in this country. And uh, that's what's so exciting about AIMS, because we are spreading this power in Africa, and uh, we have a huge advantage, because most of the world's young people are going to be African. Mathematics is actually a language. You are constructing a language. Artificial intelligence is a language. What you're doing here at Ames brings together a variety of forms of mathematical sciences. It brings them together. You are building new connections all the time. When I was about 10 years old, I was watching on television uh, astronauts go to the moon. And I thought, wow, I want to do like them. I want to put on the spacesuit. I want to go on the rocket. I want to land on the moon, drive that Jeep rover. And I, I'm, I could see myself. The AIM has a program, you know, that touch on climate change that we have been supporting. This is a global problem and you guys are going to be part of the solution. How do you think we can use science and technology to make the world a peaceful place? The biggest opportunity to address conflicts is by ensuring we all have access to education. Can you share with us how, through your esteemed career, you managed to overcome the gender barriers? Really two things that I've always felt was, was going to be very positive is the ability to gain that knowledge and to work on skills and that requires effort, constant effort. How did you find the transition from science to the government? Actually, it's not a transition. Science is everywhere. The way you learn to analyze something for your work here is something, it's, it's that critical thinking, that way of thinking, that problem solving mindset is useful everywhere and it's particularly useful in the government.